Psalm 45 verse 4. And in your majesty ride on victoriously or prosperously for the cause of truth and meekness and righteousness. Let your right hand perform terrible things. These are the works that will strike terror into the hearts of men. And Jesus warned us of exactly the same. There will be signs in sun and moon and stars and on the earth dismay among nations in perplexity at the roaring of the sea and the waves, men fainting from fear and the expectation of the things which are coming upon the world. For the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Luke 21, 25 following. Men will be so afraid that they will faint. You know how people say, I've got bad news for you. Would you like to take a seat? The powers of the heavens will be shaken. These are the powers and principalities in the spiritual realm that manifest through earthly authorities. There is an angel over every nation. These authorities, the heavenly ones and their earthly counterparts, will be shaken to the core and clueless as to what to do about the situation. Christians, be encouraged. The phrase, let your right hand perform terrible things, is assuring us that the King Messiah remains in absolute control before, during and after the tribulation. For kingship belongs to the Lord and he rules over all the nations. Psalm 22, 28. Say to those who are of an anxious heart, be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance, with the recompense of God. He will come and save you. Isaiah 35, 4. Yours, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty. For all that is in the heavens and in the earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, O Lord, and you are exalted as head above all. 1 Chronicles 29, 11. When troubles come, look up.